All right, welcome back to the Andy Rogers YouTube channel. So, it's been about eight, ten weeks since my last sort of podcast or anything came out with Carl and Sean. And so I thought I'd put something out there that it's the reason just the podcast hasn't been up for a while. Um, and I sort of feel bad. I've not really explained to any of the guys about what's been happening. But um Carl texted me during the week and I just explained that, you know, work life college balance isn't happening now. Since the last podcast I've quit my full time job and got a new job at Dolby's and I'm at college three days a week. And this is just trying to have a social life on top of having being busy basically seven days a week is absolutely fucking solid for me at the moment and my brain functionality and having time for me as well and it's been really really bloody hard so to sort of go back um, I thought I was like a bag of shit on the last podcast and I don't really mean struggling with mental health I've struggled all year um, lockdowns, previous work being a pile of shit, um, the stress of working six days a week, having a Sunday off and knowing I need to be busy on the Sunday. Um, so yeah, that's sort of been the reason why and to go more into, more into why I've not really been on sort of week before um, the last podcast I'd done uh, Football Bloody Hell and it was I think it was on the international break and sort of reviewed the transfer window um, Scotch transfer window that is um, the following week I was just so busy uh, college I had I've seen the snots twice in one week the Monday and the Wednesday and then Travelled down to uh, my girlfriend's on the Thursday and then Friday going away to Manchester to see the Cortinas. Um, the amount of stress just involved in that. <sighs> Lateral flow tests, wondering if you're going to get into the gig, if doormen are going to be dicks. Um, just everything. Um, just didn't have time for f- fuck all. Um, and trying to stay positive about everything, which I'm not, I'm not fucking good at. So, the gigs were amazing. The Monday night I got really fucking drunk. Um, you can probably hear it in my video from uh, Glasgow. Um, I might drop some. I'll probably drop some of that in around this point in the video. Um, day two gigs were unbelievable. Those boys are just getting better and better alive and setless was flawless and you know, they opened with Glasgow which opened with Glasgow in the Barrowlands, sold out something they boys had dreamed about and I hadn't seen them as a full band since sort of 2016, 2017 when they supported the view in Perth which somebody will have to tell me what EP that was on um, then sort of Tuesday, I think I had the day off, I think I made, oh no, I had the kilt fitting with my mate Gary, whose wedding was at the end of October, and that day was actually pretty good, minus um, feeling like shit because I looked fat as fuck and possibly having to get loads of extensions on the kilt. So we came out of McCall's on Ingram Street and I bumped into one of my YouTube heroes, Cy Ferry, and got to say thank, massive thanks to Cy. Um, stood and gave me about 15, 20 minutes chat because um, it was the hydro. I think it was the hydro that week, that weekend at some point near it anyway and sort of gave me a couple of Slaney stories, Tommy Gravison stories, 
Um, it was just funny as anything. And got too starstruck to ask for a photo, which I wish I did now. But um, I'll probably get another, I'll get another chance and I'll get a photo of him. Then Wednesday was the second night of the snots. I went out to go meet Paul. Um, it's quite funny. Um, met her, met her mates, uh, Demi and Stephen before it in St Luke's. Um, went to the tenants pub, which was open, which was quality. Um, and then obviously got in for the gig, and you know that being the closing night, it was absolutely filled. The boys again were on fire. And then I'd call you home on the Thursday, which my throat was fucked after Monday and Wednesday. Don't know quite how I even spoke on that call because my throat was gone. Then Manchester the fall travelled out of Manchester the following day and that was just because of how my head works. It was just so stressful. Um and then you get down there and we couldn't get an Uber to the Trafford Centre, which kept, you know, just was already anxious, already struggling with my mental health. And then we got into Trafford Centre and no one was wearing masks, which freaked me the fuck out. Um, I basically like, had a mini panic attack, mini panic anxiety attack um, in the queue for TGIs. So, just another thing that I don't the bullshit. And then, sort of the next, TGI's is quality, had a couple of beers, food was cracking as it always is in TGI's. And then, got a taxi back. Next day's a Coltiners, we went to the, been into the Northern Quarter, we went to, we're going to go to the Smith, Smithfield Social, which is Liam Frey's place there, but, I'm a fussy cunt eating, so I was like, nah, that's too posh for this work, this working class laddie. But got sort of pictures outside it, um, then it started pissing with rain, which is fucking typical Manchester weather. And then United got beat 1 0 by Villa, which was the start of a sort of downturn for United. We were fucking shit. But wasn't going to let that get me down for the Cortinas, got ready. Um, because I felt like I was sweating a lot, it was a lot of just changing clothes and really washing up, which I get like downstairs in the hotel. And we went a couple of drinks and we went over to Hotel Football, which was class. Um, if folk don't know, it's um, the Classy 92's hotel, and Clint Boom was meant to be DJing, I think, but. We sort of left after having a couple of drinks in there because we wanted to get in for, we wanted to get down the road for Blossoms coming on and I would see Johnny Marr, which it's the second time, it's the second or third time I've seen him. And then also the core team was just unbelievable. But it was a very weird, the gig was great, it was just a weird experience because of everything going on at the moment. And Scotland and England are so different on what's happening, the mask wearing and all that. So, as much as it was an enjoyable experience, it was an anxious experience. And then we drove up the road and it was back to college. And it's something that happened on the Friday at college, which I'm not sure I'm allowed to go into. Um, and I don't want in case I get myself or anybody else in trouble but it was a tense class and we were brought in on the Thursday. We came to the decision that we were from home from the Friday onwards which I was already petrified of being in the house on calls that's why I didn't apply last year well applied last year and withdrew my application because the idea of being in the house on a consistent basis doesn't doesn't do my mental health any good, even if I'm going out for walks and whatever. And 
I sort of let it spiral. So I went sort of two or three weeks without doing a podcast, without even thinking about it. And did we have another? Try to think if I had another gig in between then. So the first week of the inside at home from college happened. I don't know, I need to check Dave, Dave May's gig. So I've got my timing right. So yeah, even before that, I had sort of Tom, Tom Clark. Um, of Tom Clark and some weeks, which i have done a podcast after. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, DMAs is on the 19th of October. So a month ago, and that was a quality gig. But my mental health has, has been in tatters, and I didn't want to sort of say to the boys or anyone for that matter that NM was boring me because, you know, there's enough going on. So DMAs were brilliant. Lovely to catch up with the likes of my mate Dean, who I hadn't seen since pre COVID. Which, you know, there are some people I've not seen since pre COVID. Um, yeah, got that gig out the road, got home for that. Fucking waited on a taxi for an hour <laughs> to get home uh, for the train station, which was great fun. Um, but yeah, I was sort of been in the house for sort of five, maybe six weeks and just mental health getting the better of me. Didn't want to talk on, didn't want to be on screen to anyone because I'd already been on Teams for, you know, 18 hours a week sort of thing. And the only release I sort of had was working, going to these gigs and sort of seeing some of my friends briefly. Um... But we finally got back into college uh, fortnight ago, which was great. So good being back in, seeing people, being around people, socialising again more and more. I think the only outlet uh, I've had is work. Um, but uh, moving on, a um, couple of weeks ago, uh, it's definitely makes us in the liquid rooms and really, really starting to feel back myself again getting out to gigs, seeing people and, you know, doing what I've always done, go to gigs, have a drink, see my mates, going for fucking trains. Um, such a good laugh. And then last week was on the Tenants tour with PC, who every fucker's seen on this channel because the bastard takes over all my podcasts, which is fine because you need that sort of cunt around. Um, on top of that, I've had my best mate Gary's wedding, which I was best man at, which I put so much fucking pressure on myself to do it right and do it good and make people proud, try not to fuck the speech and done intermittent fasting, which was mental, I lost a good chunk of weight and was only having sort of one meal a day got down on weight, we travelled up to Inverness, that was mad as well, um, so I in Inverness Friday to Sunday and as always happens, bullshit goes on, um, so I was out of the house for f- 7, 8 o'clock in the morning to get through to Bishop Town to get picked up, to then find out one of the roads were shut off. And I had to go up in Orbe, which can't complain, going up and see the views of Glencoe and all that. And there was also the fuck up that week of the kilt, which was my fault, um, which had me stressed out. I didn't go back for a refit and I thought the kilt was fucked. I had to phone up and it turned out the kilt was fine, it just needed added to the party. So yeah, going, sort of being in the car up the road to. Inverness, I'm trying to sort myself out mentally, knowing I'm probably going to be drinking for the best part of two or three days. And 
So I want to be in the right mental state for being drunk. So, yeah, I was fine. Thankful I was fine. It was um, absolutely amazing to see them two getting married. My best friend in the fucking world. The biggest pleasure of my life. Biggest honour of my life. Just being best man to him. Um, meeting people I hadn't seen for over 10 years. Andrew and Stuart and Mark. We were all basically kids the last time we seen each other. Um, and we had an absolute scoop. If anyone's seen the photos on my Instagram or any photos I'm tagged in, I'm absolutely pissed from the Friday night. And never been so nervous on a day to speak in front of people. And I was supposed to go with one way with my speech, and I decided to just go completely for the heart. And still believe I didn't do myself justice. But that's that's a me thing, not an anyone else thing. So, got the wedding done and that was unreal. And coming down the road, I'd realised I hadn't done a podcast for five weeks, I think. At that point, I think it was five weeks. And really thought about nailing it on the head and thinking, fuck this, I'm done with this. All this shit. But the week before, um, I think it was the week before the wedding, I was at DMAs. I bumped into a couple of people, and um, I think I bumped into Derek Watson, who does the DW podcast. And he's like, Oh, Andy, how's the podcast going? And I was like, I need to get back to this because something's clearly clicking up. Something's, someone must be enjoying the content or some shit. So, it's sort of been working in my head since the DMA's gig and then in the car coming down the road. Now, I was going to I was gonna throw in the towel and I think, fuck this, I'm done with it. The views are shit and all that, but nah, I'm not fucking giving up. Like college and like work, I'm only aiming for the fucking top. So, we will be back. Um, football podcast will be back. Um, it's going to be Tuesday or Thursday this week. I need to confirm with Carl what day's best. I need to speak to Sean Guiden, who I, th- I don't think I've spoke to since. I've not spoke to him in a wee while anyway. But to get that done will be great. Get the boys back on. Um, it's just good to be back in with plans again and having a bit of a fuck up this week with a PCR and go for a PCR and that um, which thankfully I'm negative I can, there's no need to isolate I'm back out and back at work tomorrow and get to see the Cortinos on Wednesday which I'm so looking forward to um, but going forward I'm going to try and like do like, sort of gig reviews um, try and do like a vlog going to the gigs we we'll see how that all works on Wednesday because I should, I should be off work on Wednesday, but we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, going forward, I want to bring back my own podcast, interviewing people. Um, I'd already said to the boys for Dictator to get them on before their sold out headline show at Stereo in Glasgow, so I'm going to try and get that arranged with uh, Mikey and the boys. And fucking going on that, I'm going to put shit in the description get on the boys on Spotify um, they've just announced Sneaky Pete's in Edinburgh and I th- hold on I'll get the date up for you because I know people watch us like the same sort of music as me they've also got a new single out with Candlemaker Row so get on that as well So it's 12 February. That will be. I don't think I can go to that. 
Damn it. It's a day after I come back from Manchester. Boys, if I'm not there, I'm sorry. Um, I've got the damned on the Friday in Glasgow after seeing the snots and the cooks in Manchester on the Thursday. So, yeah, get on the boys for Dick Day and get the support up. And, yeah, just fucking support the boys. They're absolutely class. I've got anything more to add. Just keep an eye on the channel, keep an eye on the Facebook page and keep an eye out on my Twitter because there'll be announcements going out in the next week or so that I can get, we can get things put, penciled in and get back to it. Um, just want to say congratulations to my mates on the Strong Opinion Hibs podcast because they're going leaps and bounds. Charlie, Jack and Calvin are doing bits if I drawn Gordon on. And they've got more unbelievable guests to get on. Um, but yeah, everything's on the up. I'm feeling a lot better now. It's time to fucking get going. Um, announcement should be out this week for the podcast. Um, but yeah, thanks. If you fun, if you haven't listened to start, it's just me covering everything, what's been going on and why I've not been doing shit and sort of going over what's happened the last eight weeks. I just want to give a fucking shout out to all my mates. I've been fucking unbelievable. Paul, Gary, Charlie checking in on me. Um, every single one of you. It's kind of funny because Go see the containers on Wednesday. Um but yeah, stay in stay in tuned. Hit that fucking subscribe button. Hit the fucking notifications button because there's gonna be good music videos going out for gigs that I'm at. Possible music reviews um from gigs. And obviously normal content I've been doing. Football bloody hell coming back and hopefully the Andy Rogers podcast comes back. Um, but yeah stay in touch and you know what get in touch with me through anywhere to get people on if um, you got somebody you want me to speak to get in touch I'll, I'll try and see what I can do but yeah thanks guys and get in touch get in touch stay in touch with just I don't know to put the best way I can um, because I've been sort of opening up about my mental health just stay in touch with your mates stay in touch with your family because you don't know what's around the corner Um, I'm lucky I've got amazing mates I've got an amazing girlfriend I've got amazing family behind me without them I'd be fucking nowhere so Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you very, very fucking soon with more content, more laughs, and let's just have an absolute carry on and see where this all takes us.